Hi everybody, it's Diane. We're doing something rather impromptu today. I had just finished a project and was thinking of what to do next. And it crossed my mind, I have not done altered playing cards in a long time. So I grabbed some cards, I grabbed my scrap box, I grabbed my scrap of paper scrap box, and we're just going to see where that takes us. Then your voice sounds kind of weird. And it's first thing in the morning. It's just a magazine image. Okay, do something cool with that. We can't. It's first thing in the morning. And I thought about doing... I had made some of these way back in my video career here that were um, a little more scrappy cluster-ish. I kind of thought of doing that, but as you can see, I'm not. <laughs> I have time, would you just give it up? Just give it up. You just are not a cluster person. Admit it. Never. <laughs> This is some sort of gardening instructions. Yeah, I have bought some uh, annuals. They're not in the ground yet or in pots yet. Because the next couple days is supposed to be cool. And I know I film, film these now I'm, it, they're pretty um, ahead of time <laughs> it's just I got in the habit of not putting up a video every day because I didn't have enough and now I probably have enough but I admit it it's hard when someone has a video every day it's hard to keep up with that so I don't want to do that so anyway I say things like Oh, it's 30 degrees here today. And in reality, that day, it's like, you know, 69. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. Okay, let's move on. I'm just sort of doing a, a basis, if you will. And take a tip. I think I mentioned this once before. If you have cards that do have a top and bottom on the back, check it before you make the card. I've done that where it's upside down on the back. And I mean, I guess who cares? Especially if you maybe were going to glue it down. That wouldn't matter, but I don't know. It just seems kind of schlocky to me. It's upside down. What do you do with APCs? Well, I use them as journal cards in some cases. And in most cases, I just let them be because I think they're cool. I have a binder of them with um, like baseball card sleeves. They fit in there. The ones that I really like that I'm keeping. She being clear. I don't know. She just woke up. And in case you've never seen me make these before, I do incorporate part of the card design, you know, the number or whatever, something. I, you know, most people don't. And that's fine. You know, do whatever you want. But I, and I'm sorry if this sounds critical. I'm not trying to be critical. But to me, if you're going to do that, then why not just use a cut-up file folder or something? I, I mean, I guess this is handy. You don't have to cut it.
probably can't hear that. We have a church that, um, it's not that close. It's, ah, uh, let me think, one, about three blocks away. And it chimes on the hour from eight to eight during the day. Except it's, um, three minutes fast now. <laughs> they don't want anyone to be late. I don't know what that's all about. They're not fixing it. I'm glad I don't live any closer to it. It's, it's nice. If you don't live too close to it. Okay. Well, a face card. I have kind of a lot of face cards because I sort of steer away from them <laughs> if I have a choice. I could put this one on my berry page in my glue book, couldn't I? Yes, yes, you could. All right, that envelope is right up here. And if anybody remembers around, I don't know, the end of last year, I lost my glue book envelope with stuff in it. I still never found it. Maybe if I ever move out of this house and have to actually move every little thing I own, I'll find it. I don't know. My hearing piece. <laughs> that's Who's Minding the Mint. And if you've never seen that movie, that's funny. All right, that needs more like a text thing or something under there. All right, can she read that this early in the morning? All right, that's safe. Okay, well, I don't really like the king peeking out. Maybe you do. No. No, dang it, that was way off. <laughs> Is that how you work first thing in the morning? Oh, apparently. I'm not finding a red. A red anything. That's sort of dumb. Here, I know. There's the A card right here, and that's a, oh, what was that movie called? Um, <laughs> with Robert Logan and Heather, what's her name? Oh, shoot. That's a good one, too. They're out in the wilderness. Um... Yeah, um, oh, gosh, I'll have to look that up. <laughs> That's good. That's a nice family movie. It's like Across the Great Divide or something like that. I, I'm probably way off with that too, right? Why don't we do something like that? Yeah, why don't you do something like that and try to think of these movies instead of trying to think of these movies that came out in the 70s? Is it across the Great Divide? Oh. I've seen that a million, well, half a million times. I think I'd remember.
Yeah, how could you forget Heather? What's her name? They made they made the wilderness family movies together too. Is that what those were called? <laughs> Boy, Diane, you're just a fountain of information first thing in the morning, aren't you? All right, I have to trim that. It's kind of neat. Well, all right, we'll work on that. Okay. Well, let's look for an image first this time. Let's let's do it right. Why start now, Diane? Too big. Yeah, that's too big. I'm gonna do a person. called Chantilly. I can tell you what that's called because it's printed right there. It's like it's Holly, Mr. Coop, and Jason, and their dog Charity. But I can't remember the name of the movie. <laughs> All right. Does this say anything bizarre? No. Okay. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, I've talked about movie titles that I don't know long enough. I might do a couple more. I'll do the background stuff and then we'll come back and add either paint or little accessories and I will look up that movie. Hang on. Okay, this is much later in the day. It's raining. The temperature's dropped about 15 degrees. But here we are. I know I want something on this edge because it's crooked. And other than that, I don't know what I want on any of them. <laughs> I really don't. I looked at them all quick before I turned the camera on and I don't know. I did sand a little bit behind the stuff. I will say years ago when I first started making these I didn't know you were supposed to do that and I didn't and I haven't had stuff come off but I guess it makes sense right? That's kind of cool. I think I'm glad it was crooked. And that's a bit much. You could do it what about a ribbon down there? I do have ribbon here in a really exclusive type storage box. Don't look for them. You won't find them anywhere. Huh. That's okay. All right, just do it. Don't hunt around. You could try off-white. Should we try off? Then you just said don't hunt around. I know. Okay. Yeah. That would be okay. And I'm sure in some cases it may be better depending on the look you want, but I'm going with blue. And I did not try to punch that hole out of that tape because it's well, it looks like it's supposed to, I don't, can you tell, there's a little tiny darker circle. I guess you're supposed to be in there, in there so it would leave a white, you know, ring looking like a reinforcer. 
but I knew I would never get it centered right, so I just left it alone. <laughs> what a cop out, Diane. Yeah, I know. All right, well, I have the flower box you can't see. I grab words, I grab a couple Tim Holtz things. Does anybody still have any of these from like 10 years ago? All right, I'm looking at the flowers. What about this one? That matches that really nicely. Yeah, it was sunny and I wouldn't go say as far as to say hot, but very warm around 80 this morning. And then, oh, I don't know, when did that kick in? I don't know, I've lost track. Sometime in the afternoon it started raining and so it got cool and then it stopped, then it started again and then it got really cool. All right, I think I might do that and cover those. Okay, I may cut it and put parts somewhere else. Do we want something up there? It does look a little nothing-ish. Well, if this was cut, and if I don't like it, I could take another one. There's more. Don't panic. That might be okay. I'm not going to worry about it right now. All right, this lady, what do you think she's saying? Are you really going to wear that? <laughs> have any of your women ever said that to your husband? I admit it, I have. <laughs> well, if the shoe fits, is there some funny little phrase? These are a little more serious than I would hope for her look, than I would want for her look. This is really interesting, Diane, watching you read. be open to whatever comes next. This sort of looks like she's not too sure about what's coming next. How about that? Where do we want it? All right, I'll goof around and place it at the bottom. I think we want a flower or a bird or something. Butterfly? Yeah, that box is over there. With cross stitch junk on it, I'm supposed to be finishing off. And I actually want, I have to get one done by June for a birthday present. I, I better get on that. What about this one? started sliding away but it changed its mind it's kind of cute all right we'll do something with that oh I looked it up it is across the Great Divide it came out in 1976 we can all sleep better tonight about that up there. And it was filmed in Utah and Canada. <laughs> and 
actually, if you're a person that likes, um, you know, outdoorsy, scenic type images, movies, you would like that one. I did trim down the frame of this picture a little bit. Um, as it turned out, I didn't really have to. I thought I kind of needed it to with the way I had it situated before. But personally, I think it looks a little better anyway. It was kind of a lot of brown. I like that. I'm going to leave that the way it is for now. Another girl. A gal. You see her sweater? It's actually like people on it. People's heads. Like, I think it's supposed to look like uh, nostalgic women. Am I right? <laughs> before. You know, maybe you should put your glasses on before you make an idiot out of yourself. Yeah, it is. Okay. Well. Should she get a phrase too that I covered with the bird box here? Oh good, we get to watch her read again. Well, I'm not going to read all these because then I have to put it in quotes in the closed caption. I don't want to do that. With brave wings she flies. She put wings behind her. <laughs> I generally don't do that kind of stuff as you may have noticed. Sometimes you have to take chances. How about that? She looks like she's kind of daring. All right. If I put that sort of around in this area, I want something up there? I don't, I'll do that on my own. I don't know. And this one, I like it just like this, but no one's going to let me get away with that. And it's a little short. But I like the way that yellow is from the king's crown. I like it, so I left it like that. All right, well, maybe a butterfly or a bird. Or goony owl. No. I should, you know what I'm going to do though? I'm going to take a couple of these for my blue book. I was just thinking the other day, I have another sheet of owls and I cut a couple for the glue book and I thought I have another sheet and I should cut those. Okay, good. And that one's not too bad. I'm looking to see if there's something better. I don't even remember this paper. <laughs> it's brand new, that's why. No, okay. I usually do not do that. I, I know what I have, but once in a blue moon. Oh! Alright, we're getting down to the bottom of this stuff. Well, this is more realistic. Would that look better? Whoops. Because that flower is very realistic. Well, um... That one? Is that too big? No, that might work. raining I can hear it birds don't seem to mind they're chirping out there maybe it should be up maybe that 
All right. How long have I been filming? 13 minutes. All right, I'll do this one. And then I'll pause and finish them off by myself. Long videos are just long videos, right? Well, I don't think we want flowers. Although that would be okay. But we have flowers, right? I don't think I have a lot of birds that have red. We're looking... Here's one. That's kind of cute. That's not bad. A washi maybe down there? Well, I would say red. By the way, this scrap of paper, and that's a, uh, it's one of those leaflet thing type things that go in a binder book. Just say yes. kind of pretty that could use a word or a number or a stamp design or something. Secrets. right color. I don't care what it says, I just like the color. Okay, we'll see. All right, and I have three left. I have, those are off the internet stamps. Did I show that already? I don't know. And then that one we saw, that one we saw, and this one. Four left. Okay, I'm going to finish these off. I'll probably come back tomorrow and let you see them. Okay, one more pause. Okay, here are your altered playing cards for the day. These three here do have paint. Um, this one, I just thought, you know, teen fashion, it was, it's a copy of an old Barbie clothes pattern. It, you know, it, what did that have to do with a bird and everything? I like the colors, why I put it on there. So I went over it a little bit and then just sort of blobbed. So that's nice. A lot of these have ink around the edges. That one does. This one has blue paint around the edges and a little blue spattering. I thought it was a little too plain with nothing. This one I just blobbed a little bit because there was nothing on that side. That worked out nice. I like that one. Our blue jays. I found a small blue jay and then I used one of those Tim Holtz reinforcer stickers. So that I thought that worked out pretty well. Yeah, you know, I had intended to put half the flower up here. It was too crowded. It, it didn't look good, trust me. And this one, throw kindness around like confetti. So we cut out little confettis out of cardstock and threw it around. It's kind of cute. This one has some stamping. It's also upside down, Diane. And I have some scrap of paper flowers on there. This one is kind of plain-ish, the bird, and I added a word um, mainly for the size and the color. <laughs> this one is nice. It's simple. You know, I was thinking, you know, this is Think Positive. It would be fun to make little affirmations, if you will, like this, and it could go in the photo 
sleeves of your wallet. Wouldn't that be kind of nice? Little reminder. That one, it's fine. There's a bird on there, that scrap of paper. And this one, I like that too. It's an old number off an invoice or something and portion of a scrap of paper ticket. Okay. I think they're kind of neat. <laughs> I may get debate on that. I don't know. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you have a nice day.